Hi everyone, this is Kamel. In our last episode, we learned how to adjust the temperature and the tint in our footage. Today, let's keep diving into the basic skills of color correction. After getting the right temperature in the tent, it's time to adjust the white balance and exposure. We talk about the features of a white balance, exposure, and other color parameter settings before. If you haven't learned it, just click on here to jump to that tutorial. But before we start, make sure you free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. All right, now let's get into today's video. Open up Video Proc Flagger. Start a new project. Add the footage we've prepared. Drag it onto the timeline track. Get into the color editor panel. Let's check out the exposure which controls the brightness for all colors in our footage. Drag the slider, we can find the tone distribution in the histogram also change the long width. When adjusting the exposure, we should give a caution that, with too much exposure, we might lose details in the bright areas of our video. With too little exposure, we may lose details in the dark areas of our video. Next, we take a look at the hazel gray and make sure there aren't too many colors distributed at the very edges. Then we refer to the brightest and the darkest areas to adjust the overall contrast. Contrast can also affect all colors in our footage. High contrast makes the differences between the bright and the dark areas more significant. So the bright areas look brighter and the dark areas look darker. On the contrary, low contrast usually creates a softer image or gray tones. How many details we can see in a footage is largely determined by the contrast. Unless we need a really exaggerated and a dramatic effect, the hazel green should have no or very few colors at the extreme edges. Give a caution, our target in this process is making the overall color in line with our IC. Adjusting the exposure and the contrast can help you get a good white balance while keeping the details. Small tab, when doing color correction, I usually follow this rule. No colors are distributed at the very edges. It's especially helpful for editing the portrait videos ensuring I can get a relatively natural outcome. Just like what we did when adjusting the temperature and the tint, we can alter the contrast and exposure based on the objects in the footage. Take this scene as an example. The sun is reflecting off the white buildings, so the brightest areas of this picture should live up here and areas under the shadow should be the darkest. Let's observe the hazel green. It's easy to find that neither the brightest nor the darkest areas look bright or dark enough, and the most colors are distributed in the middle, so the footage looks a little gray. To fix this, we can bring up the exposure a little bit to make the colors of the footage look in line with what we see under a sunny day. Both the contrast to make the contrast between the light and the dark parts more distinct. Then, based on our personal favor or any specific demands, we adjust the highlights, shadows, whites, and the blacks.
blast, we can add a lot of loud effect and adjust its intensity. Isn't it pretty easy? That's all for today's tutorial. Just feel free to try what you've learned in your creation. In our next, also the last episode for this color correction series tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to add colors for a night shot inside a color editor, and how to add a somatic touch to your footage with HSL. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.